So just one more point, you might appreciate this, this kind of your, your text sparked this thought, that the, the two overwhelming uh, motivators of an individual and a community's political affiliation, number one, is genetics. That's making up between 50 to 70 percent of why an individual has any political leaning in their life. Uh, so that's number one, and that's really rooted, if you've ever heard of the uh, Big Five personality assessment, um, that's, a, that's a good way of conceptualizing people who are liberal are super high in openness and super low in conscientiousness, whereas people who are conservative is the reverse, that they're high in conscientiousness and low in openness. And there's, a, there's a, an evolutionary necessity for a community to be able to express both types of uh, political beliefs um, and, and politics being the, the way a man engages in a broader community in, in an organized way. Because brass tacks, and you'll see this in most businesses, generally speaking, the person who has high trade openness is coming up with the amazing idea of his business and has absolutely no idea how to run the damn thing because the guy's not so orderly and so has to hire an amazingly conscientious human being, super orderly, dots the I's, crosses the T's, he's a great manager, gets things done because he's high in conscientiousness, but heaven help him, the guy would never have been able to come up with this amazing idea to begin with. And it's the interplay between these two very different individuals, groups of individuals, that ultimately creates uh, the basis of a political party. And in a well-functioning society, these two political parties, which are just really like half ideas, you know, an ideology is a, in some sense, is a superficial half idea. So in, in functioning societies, these two come together, and hey, thank God, they're able to to pool their their uh, their their personality resources, so to speak, and make make the make the society better. The second, which again is huge compared to all other uh, aspects that mold a person's political belief more than history, more than culture, more than parents, is the presence of, uh, of uh, uh, sickness or par paras parasites, sickness parasites, either or, that can infect the body. So this triggers high levels of orderliness, clo border, close, making distinctions, closing, closing the, the walls, so to speak, and and so I, I think since the Enlightenment, um, the the general across all religions, there is a there is a tendency, and I think this is kind of what you were observing. This might be another another angle to it, that there is a tendency for religious groups to be more quote unquote conservative, politically conservative, because. You know, we, you know, we we as verbal creatures, we we don't just engage in concrete world; we engage in abstract world. And ideas can very much be parasites that infect the body of the community. So, especially since the Enlightenment, um, political groups are more conservative. But I think it's for that reason we have genetics and the environmental factors triggering political belief.